Hey guys, let me show you how easy it is going to be to create atlases and fonts starting with version 160. I'm going to start by creating a new scene. Now that I have that, I should create an atlas. I do that by going to NGUI and opening up Atlas Maker tool. With the Atlas Maker, you can actually create a new atlas that will not have anything in it. Or you can select what you want to put in the atlas, for example, these two textures and they will show up and they will be added to the atlas as soon as you click the create button. Now before we examine the actual atlas, let's take a look at the sprites we just added. Looking at them, you can actually see that they happen to have a lot of wasted space. Fortunately, and GUI will take care of that for you select the atlas texture, you will notice that both of those original textures got packed into an atlas and unused space got trimmed away. Here's another fun thing. This image is actually a PSD file, while this image is a Targa file, and yet both of them get combined into an image no problem. This means that you are not limited to uh, PNG file formats like you are with Texture Packer. Well, let's try adding these sprites to the scene. As you can see, they were actually added in the proper spot. Essentially, the position that they're taken on the screen right now is the position that they're taken inside their texture, the original texture. All the math of calculating offsets and uh, trimming away unused space is taken care of for you which obviously lets you focus on more interesting things. Well, say for example I wanted to add a couple of more textures to this uh, atlas. I can do that by selecting what I want to add and just clicking the Add button. It's that simple. Say I added this one here and then this one and now I notice that the size of the texture actually went up to 512 by 1024. Let's see what it looks like now. Ooh, look at all this wasted space. Fortunately, I can just go ahead and delete the icon I just added. And the size of the atlas is back to 512 by 512. Another interesting thing to note is you don't have to keep these uh, original textures in your project once you add them to the atlas. Let me show you what I mean. Here are the original phone textures. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them. Now, the atlas is obviously unaffected. If I look at the texture, they're still there. But say now I wanted to add some uh, other textures to it, like all of these, for example. Click the Add button, examine the sprite. Hey, they're still here. And the opposite holds true as well. Now let's see what it takes to actually add a font. Unfortunately, I still have to go through a BM font, which is kind of bulky, but it's the only option I got on the Windows side. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, export it at pretty much default settings. This part sucks, having to do all this manually. But not everything can be as easy as in GUI. Anyhow, now that I have the fonts definition file and a texture inside Unity, I can create a font. I do that by going to NGUI Font Maker. Now that I'm here, I can actually drag and drop the texture and the font definition file into the input fields. And the output is currently selecting the atlas that I added earlier, which means that the font I'm about to create is going to go directly into the atlas. Let's examine the atlas texture. There's the font. Well, let's write something. Well, that was easy. Thanks for watching.
and I hope you enjoy the next update.